Hindus were prohibited to teach their children about their own religion and children younger than 15 were forced to attend Christian preaching, organized in public places. Every attempt was made to humiliate and emasculate Hindus while converts were given concessions, jobs and right to property. And still, a large population of Hindus chose not to convert. They either moved to the mainland areas which were still not controlled by the Portuguese, some moved to Karnataka, some moved further down to Kochi, which is still, which is why you find Konkani speaking people all the way down to Ernakulam, all the way along the Konkan coast. Then what the Portuguese did was, once they converted the people, they uh, changed their whole way of life. They destroyed the whole social fabric that they were familiar with. The language was suppressed. Konkani was, uh, education in Konkani was prohibited, speaking Konkani was prohibited. All the elite were forced to speak Portuguese even at home. Then their way of dressing was changed. People were penalized if they wore the dhoti or the saris which they were accustomed to and they were given western clothes. Their uh, terms of using father and mother was in uh, Goa also I and Papa or I and Papa. That was changed to Mai and Pai which were the Portuguese names. So everything was changed. They were force fed pork. Their way of cooking was changed. Hindus never put small small things. Hindus never put rice in their uh, salt in their rice. So the Christians were forced to put salt in their rice. Even today in Goa, Christians put salt in their rice, whereas Hindus don't.